pray for uh, my wife, Sister Rose. She's not feeling well today. Also, please continue to pray for uh, Justice Regina Gilkey. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests you can make them known by the raising of your hands? God, we acknowledge. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace to receive mercy and help. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us to wake up this morning clothed in our right minds with a reasonable portion of health and strength, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for, all, for, for, for blessing us, Lord, and protecting us, Lord, as we travel over the dangerous highways and byways, Lord, as we made our way to the house of God, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to ask, Lord Jesus, that you touch right now, Lord, that you be in the service, Lord, that you prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive your word, Lord Jesus. Lord, that you look upon all these prayer requests that have been asked, Lord. Lord, we ask that you move in each and every one of these prayer requests according to your will, Lord. Lord, once again, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the lives that you're about to change, Lord, for the for, 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 the, for, the, for, the, for the healing that's in work that will be done in this service, Lord. And Lord, be careful to give your name the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
the Lord. Would you put your hands together and give the Lord some praise? Come on, let some, some hallelujahs come out of your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, would you lift towards your hands towards the heaven? Would you lift towards heaven and just begin to worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Come on, the presence of God is in the house. Come on, would you let him know how much you love him right now? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's it. Just, just love on the Lord for just a moment. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. If you want to be seated, you can. And if you want to stand and worship, you can as well. God bless you.
last week we talked about His grace, His mercy and compassion renewed to us every morning. I started out my day reaching out for His mercy and His grace and His compassion. It's renewed every morning. And you're here this morning if you're thankful for his mercy and grace being renewed to you this morning. Would you stand and lift up your hands to the Lord? Amen. Give thanksgiving and thank the Lord for this morning. He kind of told Thank the Lord for this morning. There's some folks didn't wake up this morning. Come on, let's thank the Lord. Come on, really, shout out to the Lord. And thank the Lord for waking you up this morning. He touched you with his grace. He touched you with his mercy. He touched you with his compassion.
speak on this subject. The riches of God's grace. The riches of God's grace. Would you join hands with someone? Let's pray. We ask, Lord, that you speak in this service. Touch us with your grace. Pour out your spirit here today. Touch us with your grace. Will you clap your hands to the Lord to thank the Lord for his grace? <laughs> Praise God. You may be seated. I used to have tremendous conversations uh, when I first got to church with my wife. I said, no, you know, honey, we're pretty rich. And uh, we were poor. And I said, we got Christ. That's right. Praise God. And I was in Liberia. And uh, there was a city burned down by Muslims. And, and the missionary asked me, he said, hey man, I, I want you to go and preach to these people who lost everything they had. This, this city burnt down, lost everything. And they had the refuge camp and I want you to go down there and preach to them. What a task to go and try to preach to some folks who lost everything that they had. Everything they had. Mm. I began, amen, to, to, to look to the Lord for the, an answer. The Lord told me, go down here and tell those folk, don't tell me that I'm poor. And I went down to that refugee camp and I simply preached on the riches of God's grace. And the subject was, don't tell me that I'm poor. Would you clap me into the room? Do you think of yourself as rich? No matter how much money you have, if you're born of the water and of the spirit, in Jesus' name, you're extremely wealthy because God has lavished the riches of his grace upon you. build this first facility here. We had such an experience about the riches of God's grace. And uh, I went around like I had a million dollars in my pocket. Yes. I remember a fellow called me on the phone and saying, do you still want that property out there? Amen. I said, yeah. And uh, he said, would you be able, what would you be able to pay for it? And I said, well, uh, maybe 25000 <laughs> And I didn't have $25,000. And he said, well, I'll get back with you. And he came back after Joe called and hey, man. And I was thinking I was rich, you know. Man. That's right. And, uh, and uh, praise God. And he said, do you think you come up with thirty thousand dollars? I said, I said, okay, I'll see what I, I can do. And I walked in the, the bank and, uh, and told old to Daryl Lewis, he was the vice president of the bank, and he saw how we had built this building, pay as you go, because we was walking in the riches of God's grace. He said, no problem. He said, I'll have a check for you in the moment. It was $30,000 to purchase property. At that time, it was worth over $400,000. Let's thank the Lord for his riches. 
Thank you, Lord, for the gifts. Praise God. Amen. You see, at the moment of salvation, he deposited in your account every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Hello. There ain't no need to walk around if you're a child of God with your head down. And you feel like you're broke. My mind, why don't you start walking around like you got something in your pocket? Will you clap your hands in the Lord? Thank the Lord. Why then do so many believers live in spiritual poverty? Well, hello. Hello. I'm talking about spiritual poverty. And you saved. You know, repent of your sins, been baptized in the name, filled with the Holy Ghost. And you, you're walking around living in poverty. Spiritual poverty. Hmm. Competing interests distracted by things of the world may be the common reason. Hello? Looking at what somebody else got, you don't have. Come on now. Praise God. Believers in this category focus on possessions, present responsibilities, advancing, but my interest in God, spiritual blessings. Let me get this and that. Uh -huh. Won't you pay attention to the blessings of the Lord that he already given to you. When you clap your hands to the Lord and thank the Lord, you got clothes on your back. You got a place to sleep. But come on, somebody. The blessings of the Lord. I don't care if you got a pin in your pocket. Won't you shout it to the Lord and thank the Lord for his blessings.
was laying in my bed one morning thinking about how I was going to get the get bricks for this facility here. And the Lord woke me up and told me, he said, you can raise the money. And I picked up the phone. You see, I was making a withdrawal out of my account. I picked up the phone. And I start calling this one and that one. And they say, we, we didn't pay for this many break. And this many you pay. We didn't pay for, before I know it, within, I think, 30 or 40 minutes, I had all the money for the break. Will you clap your hands to the Lord? Amen. They were looking at me kind of crazy. Amen. After we got this facility built, amen, I was dreaming about the other facility. The beautiful thing about it, amen, that the way we operate, we had to be in the mind, and then we got to put it on paper. And then we got to build it. And I thank the Lord. He didn't have to put nothing on paper. Uh -huh. It was in his mind there was going to be a church here called New Birth Tabernacle. When you clap your hands and go, it was in his mind. And then there's confusion. Too many believers just don't know how to access the treasures of God's grace. Go ahead, preach. Oh, hallelujah. They don't know how to get that. I'm preaching about something that I didn't read in the book. I'm preaching about something that I have lived. Will you clap your hands to the Lord? Hallelujah. Something I have lived. Praise God. Matter of fact, amen. The beautiful thing about tapping in to your account, which God has already established, is that simply having faith and believing that God could do it. They looked at me kind of crazy when I first started the building program. We had zero. That's right. Zero. And then an individual gave 10000 And then another individual gave 15000 wow. Hello. Amen. And before you know it, we were able to raise all, almost $300,000. Hello. Yes. And we didn't have no millionaires in the church. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Nothing but common folk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you how we've done it. Was faith. Faith. It's already in the cap when you clap your hand unto the Lord. It's already in your cap. You see, as a result, they worry and complain about their needs and problems. When desperation comes to the Lord back, pleading for help, and never realizing that his abundant supply has already been the supply. Hmm. Already been deposited into your appreciate you for the accepting and coming here. And he acted on the faith. He tapped in to the riches of God's grace. And lived in a trailer for a while. Yes, yes. Because he tapped into God's 
God's grace, uh -huh. the door was open to bless him with a beautiful home. That's right. With even furniture in it. And it was affordable. Let's thank the Lord for his grace. Hallelujah. It's already in the couch. And how you was going and simply having faith in the Lord. I was working on a message. And the title was, I haven't finished with it. But God can do anything. How do you have access to the riches of God's faith? Grace is simply what the road to faith. 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 In God. In the Lord. In His Word. That's right. Faith. Oh, I've been praying and believing God every step of the way. For God to help us with this new facility. Uh -huh. And I've been doing my best uh -huh. to withdraw out of my account. Uh -huh. Which God has already provided us yes, Lord. away. Yes, Lord. And it's because of God's grace that you and I are here today. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. But don't live in spiritual poverty. Right. Turn to your name and say, the best is yet to come. When you clap your hands to the Lord, the best is yet to come. Some years ago, I had the opportunity as this old drug addict to tap into God's grace. Simply by Believe in what the preacher said. He said, repent and be baptized in order of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking other tongues as the Spirit of God gives the honor. And you know what I did? 
that day I tapped into God's grace by oh, simply glory. believing what the preacher said. Right. Hallelujah. It put my marriage back together. Hello. Amen. He put money in my pocket. I was able to raise four kids and get them to graduate from university. Amen. Amen. Simply by tapping into the grace of God. Come on, let's thank the Lord for victory. Hallelujah. He's here, the Lord's here.
is God. Precious sister in the Lord used to attend here and she drove back out of church and she said I want to send an offering and she sent an offering my sister called me the other day she said we're gathering everybody together we asking everybody to give $200 a piece. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Amen. It's happening to the riches of God's grace. Don't be stingy to give. That's right. God has already deposited everything that we need. Yeah. And all we got to do is simply believe. Praise God. Amen. Okay. Praise God. Don't forget our services. Amen. Tonight. Prayer is 530. Service at 6. Amen. I choose not to live in spiritual poverty. Make up in your mind to walk in faith. Amen. We're dismissing.